Hey, what's up everyone? This is Music Tech Help Guy, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how to use screen sets in Logic Pro. Screen sets are kind of like window configurations. Actually, that's exactly what they are. They're window configurations that you can save and quickly toggle using the number row on your keyboard. So for example, I could save the tracks area just the tracks area with the notes open on one. And then maybe I could store the MIDI editor, one of the MIDI editors, plus the tracks area on uh, screen set two. So they allow you to create these custom window configurations for different workflows. And if you use them effectively, they can really help out with switching back and forth and not having to open up and close windows. If you just have two or three or four different workflows you're using in a particular project, why not just have access to those at your fingertips? Before I get into this, I wanna quickly tell you about the sponsor of today's video, Boombox. As producers and creatives, we're always looking for new ways to optimize our production process. With Boombox, you can do just that. Upload audio files, stems, multi-tracks, and even full DAW sessions. Securely invite collaborators and clients to leave timestamped feedback or give them editor access so they can upload their own files. Whether you're on the web app, the Mac OS sync app, or the mobile app, Boombox keeps you connected and in control. Say goodbye to email overload and say hello to streamlined collaboration. Experience the future of music collaboration with Boombox.io. Head over to Boombox.io today and get four gigabytes of free storage to kickstart your creativity. Okay, so let's get right into this. Most projects will automatically start with screen set one pulled up. So you can find your screen sets right here with this little one in the top menu. And this is just showing the tracks area, but let's say I wanna bring in the notepad. Sometimes I like to have uh, production notes or mixing notes or lyrics over here to work from. So I can pull that up. So the great thing about screen sets is it doesn't just save the windows it themselves. It also saves any particular uh, dialogues you may have pulled up in any of these windows. So this is gonna be the first screen set just as is sort of a tracks area recording production workflow. Then what I'm going to do is press two, and this is going to do this. We're going to get a really small uh, tracks area. I'm going to go ahead and pull that over. And in this one, I want the mixer up at the bottom. Really, I want the mixer to be the focus. So I'm going to hit command two to bring up the mixer, and I'm going to make sure it's completely expanded out. I'm going to view this in large faders rather than small faders. And this could be my mixing workflow. Um, so I could press one to go back to tracking and production, press two to go to mixing. And I believe this will also store any plugin windows that you have open. So if I maybe wanna throw the loudness meter on the stereo out over here, and maybe I wanna beef that up so I can see it a little better. Um, in fact, I may do something like this where I put this here and then I pull the tracks area over just like so. There we go. And then I have my loudness, uh, loudness meter here as part of the screen set and screen set two. So again, one, this is the tracks area, and two is my mixing workflow. Now I do want to just mention here that this does not work with the number pad. It only works with the number row. The number pad numbers have a completely different function uh, if you have a number pad, and they are super helpful for navigating your projects, but I'll cover that in a future video. Now let's say I want like a MIDI editing piano roll screen set. Well, let's press three to go to a blank screen set. Let's pull this up, drag that over. I'm going to once again, make the tracks area as small as it lets me go. I'm going to press command four to bring up the separate piano roll window and do just like that. So there we go. So now here's like my MIDI uh, workflow on three. Two is my mixing workflow. And one is my production and tracks workflow one, two, three. And you can do this with any editor or any dialogue or any window, you know, for example, you know, if I like using the MIDI transform uh, window, I can actually pull up the transform window here. Maybe I'll have this up top here. Let's pull that over, pull this over, pull that over, pull that down, and then pull this over just like so. Now I have a screen set that is 
ready for MIDI editing and batch MIDI processing with the transform window. So again, one, two, three. Let's go to four and let's maybe build one for the step sequencer. And, and maybe for the step sequencer, I want a different view. I don't want it like this. Maybe I want something more like this. Or I can see all of my tracks vertically. And then I want to pull up the step sequencer, go to window, open step sequencer, or press command three, pull this up just like so. And maybe in some of these instruments, I've got a lot of, you know, a lot of layers here, a lot of uh, uh, channels, especially in like drum instruments and drum machine designer instruments. So here's my step sequencing workflow. So again, one is tracks area, two mixing, three for MIDI and the piano roll, and four for the step sequencer. That is pretty much it. Um, the only thing that kind of is a drawback to this is they're not saved globally. They're only saved per project. So there's no way to like save the screen sets. I, um, I really wish there was a way uh, to save your screen sets, but there isn't. Even if there's like a save feature here, you can, you know, recall it in, in other, uh, uh, on other projects. One workaround is if you commonly use a lot of the same, uh, like the same setup, you can create a template. So if you save this as a template under here, under file, save as a template, you know, if you just have a blank project you put together and you put together three or four of your most common screen sets, save it as a template, that template will always recall uh, all of those uh, screen sets for you. So you don't have to keep uh, setting them up every single time. But most of the time I have two or three screen sets I use. So, it, you know, it only takes like two minutes to set up and it ends up saving me uh, way more time, you know, as I'm working on the project and not constantly opening and closing windows. So that's screen sets and Logic Pro. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel to see more content like this. As always, thank you so much for the support and thanks for watching.